river skating path. Very popular. Have you ever had the chance to go on? No, I haven't skated on it yet. Usually when I'm done with practice, I don't want to <laughs> lace good. up again. So that's, I haven't done it yet, but it's definitely on my bucket list. Yeah, I've probably come here, I don't know, half a dozen to 10 times. And you know, sometimes when it's colder, even I'll bundle up and just come walk around. I feel like it's good for my headspace just to kind of get out and, and see other people. And um, you know, I'll never forget my first time coming down. I think it was over there on the river. There's like a bunch of kids playing hockey outside. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Like it gave you a real sense of community. It's just pretty cool. It's cool in the winter. It's obviously cool in the summer now. This is the first time I've seen it, but um, yeah, it's really, really cool place. I like it. When you look at arriving in Winnipeg, how much did you know about Winnipeg when you got traded here? Very little, honestly. Um, you know, I knew some people who were like either from here or from somewhere around here who had played here. So, you know, you get a text from a former teammate or a friend and um, they always tell you it's cold, but everything was like the people are great. And everyone I knew who was from here was like the nicest people, some of my best friends. So yeah, I was excited to get here. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. So what was the biggest surprise for you when you arrived? Oh God, I remember, so after I got traded, I finished that like, I think it was a month and a half with the Jets. And I don't know if you remember, it was, we we're supposed to play Seattle at home, I think. And this would have been like late March maybe. And uh, the game got canceled in advance because there was going to be a huge snowstorm coming. So we, Florida, or we flew to Florida like three days early. So that was a big surprise for me that we were still getting snowstorms. Like, it might have even been in April. It was like very late, I remember. Um, yeah, so that was, I was actually on the golf course, funny enough, in Hartford when I got traded. So it was like kind of turning to spring there. Uh, and then I came back here and got another few weeks of winter. So that was uh, surprising me how late it went. It was a trip that everybody uh, wanted to be on. Yes, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> when you guys were leaving early yeah. for it. Food or fashion? Which is your preference? Food. Food, Definitely, okay? Yeah. Food or travel? Uh, probably travel. Yeah, travel, I like traveling. And I feel like food comes with that too. Whenever I travel, I, okay. eat, I eat well, so. Absolutely, so favorite spot that you've traveled to? Uh, I went to Sardinia in Italy. That was fantastic, it was beautiful. What's next on your wish list? Uh, your, Europe, like Portugal would be great. And then also I'd like to do Alaska at some point. Um, but that's more of an active vacation, so maybe not like a postseason <laughs> vacation, but. Social media, yay or nay? Uh, because I've been on your Instagram and it certainly does not seem yeah, like Yeah, I don't like posting. <laughs> no, I, li I like it for keeping up with like friends and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I try to stay off it as much as I can. Why? I just feel like it's a waste of my time sometimes. And you know, when I'm on it too much, you kind of get scrolling. And um, I, I think there's better uses for my time now. Yeah. What was it like growing up in Halifax as a barren boy? It was great. I loved it. Like it's uh, very similar to here in that it's like a super hockey centric community, I would say, or at least my community there was, right? Like a ton of really great players who have played there. And so we had a ton of great role models to look up to and kind of follow along. And, um, you know, it's still where I go back and spend my summers. I think I'll be there for for hopefully the rest of my life or at least a long time. I just I really feel comfortable there and um, you know, it's a great place to be. What is it about? Uh, Halifax that just resonates with you so much. The ocean helps. <laughs> I do like that. No, that's Fair. not, maybe a, it's not a kick at Winnipeg, but I love being on the ocean. And even if you're not swimming it or not in a boat, like to be able to see it and smell the salt water or something, I always really enjoy it in the summer. He did it again, Justin Barrett snipes. Justin Barrett buries one six five hockey game. What was it like growing up with you in and your brother. It was a lot of fun. Um, our thing when we were kids was always street hockey. Like we'd come home from school and it'd be street hockey. We'd have the nets set up and we lived on a quiet enough street where you'd only have to move it, move the nets every five minutes let the cars through. So it was so much fun, like skating on outdoor rings, playing street hockey, or even just things like playing video games and that stuff. It's, it was always nice to have them and I, I still live with them in the summer. We rent a place together back there. So uh, to have someone to kind of go through it all with, like every step of the way has been really special. Cool.